So I really have serious doubts about this English team. They have decided to bring a lot of uncapped or low-capped players. No one who really has a lot of experience. And not only that, but uncapped senior players or older players, like someone who's 28 or 30, who's played a couple of test matches or none at all. This isn't... These aren't players for the future, because they're too old. And so they're just there for a short-term solution to the problem. And yet they're completely untested. And so it's hard to figure out what exactly these players will, will do and what their role will be in this squad for this tour. It's like, it's really difficult to think of what will be the answer will be. I'll have more to say on this in the future, but my first impressions of this squad are very low. This squad does not look good. And Australia will have three rounds of the Sheffield Shield to get through in order to get into form and get ready. And Mitchell Stark and Josh Hazel would have the time on their hands to get back into fitness. And then you've got Nathan Lyon, and then there's a third seamer. Might be Coulter Nile or it might be Pat Cummins. And that looks very dangerous. I mean, four triple-A standard test match bowlers against an English batting lineup that looks soft, that looks like they lack the number of runs under their belt. It looks very disappointing. And I don't think anything good will come of this. I think England are going to be facing a real big defeat. Like I said, the big difference is not whether England can win these Ashes, I don't think that's possible, but will they at least provide serious contest? Will they hold up Australia? Will they challenge them? Will they create exciting cricket? Or will they just roll over and become an ugly mess? So, a couple of years ago, New Zealand came over to Australia for a tour, and they were defeated 2-0 in three tests, and they did a good job. They were able to hold their own, they were able to save one game by batting out Australia, and they played pretty good cricket, and it was impressive. And then, the next team to tour was the West Indies, who were flab who were completely out of it, out of their league, who were overwhelmed, and the only reason it wasn't 3-0 was because the final test at Sydney was washed out. And so, what will England do? Will England provide a good contest, like New Zealand, or will they just roll over like the West Indies? And I can't see them actually providing a good contest. It will take a remarkable feat from the senior players, Alastair Cook, Joe Root, James Anderson, Stuart Broad, to halt off some sort of whitewash situation.